I mean, she had a mother and a father. I mean, somebody must be missing her. I mean, she, it, it appears that she might even have a child. So there has to be a family out there that's missing her. So that is with the Hamilton County Coroner, Dr. Lakshmi Shamarko from last year after part of a woman's dismembered body was found right there in that grassy area in a Cincinnati neighborhood. Months later and investigators are still trying to identify who that woman is today. Crews, they were out again searching the area for any clues that could help. All right, so here's where the case gets convoluted, right? Brittany Harry's been following the story since the beginning and it is live from North Fremont with the latest. But now all of a sudden, Brittany, we're talking about possible more than one body in that area, right? Possibly. Really, it's kind of too early to tell at this point. But Tricia, you're right because more body parts were found in the area today, according to the Hamilton County Coroner's Office. So right now I'm in the 1600 block of Baltimore Avenue. Now this is the area where back on November 5th that woman's dismembered body was found. So as you mentioned, the FBI, Cincinnati Police, other agencies were back in this area today just searching for any evidence because again, this woman has not been identified at this time. But as you can see behind me, it's quiet out here now no more searching at this point, but this investigation is far from over. Looking to get information from the public again, bring some fresh eyes uh, to the scene, and then again, re talking to people in the area to see if anything has materialized since November 5th. It's an unusual case with right now far more questions than answers after a woman's torso was discovered in North Fairmont nearly two months ago. The woman hasn't been identified at this time, but efforts to try to determine who she is continue. I think once we do determine that, that will open uh, this investigation wide open. Right now, agencies at the local, state, and federal level are working together on this case. As Fox 19 has previously reported, genealogy testing is being done to hopefully help Cincinnati police identify the victim. Those results will take some time. Meanwhile, another search was conducted this morning in the area where the woman's dismembered body was found. This is a view up above from our drone showing the wooded area where authorities were looking for any evidence they could find. And during that search, Hamilton County Coroner Dr. Lakshmi Samarco says additional body parts were found. They were found within a few blocks of the same area of one of the cases that we talked about, the one from November 5th. Dr. Samarco says it's unclear right now if the body parts found this morning are of the same person found on November 5th, but that is being investigated. She also says it's unclear at this point if they are male or female body parts. Uh, obviously, this is a very disturbing scene uh, for the neighbors in this area, for the Cincinnati community, for anybody. I know I've been in law enforcement for over 33 years and I've not seen anything of this nature. Cincinnati police say they've looked into every local and even across region missing persons cases, but haven't found any possible connections. So they say it's possible the woman doesn't have any local ties. So again, as for the description of the woman who was dismembered out here, it's a pretty vague description at this point, but we do know, according to the coroner's office, they believe it's a black woman, 20s, 30s, possibly weighing about 120 pounds. So uh, that's the description that has been released at this point. And again, Cincinnati police are just urging anyone with any information to come forward. They want people to call crime stoppers with tips as 513-352-3040. And the coroner's office also says that the dismembered woman woman at some point might have been pregnant, so she might have a child out here uh, as well. So just another layer to this. It's really kind of a baffling case that Cincinnati police are working very diligently on right now. But for now, I'm reporting live in North Fairmont, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 now. All right, Brittany, thank you so much.